Hello, everybody. My name is Christina Rowe from Standout Media Group, and I'm really excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, I'm going to just switch over, making sure that you can see my screen, which you should be able to. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I think you guys should be able to see the screen now. And I'm presenting to you how to become internet famous with Facebook Live video and this is the webinar and I'm really excited for this because I'm a big fan of Facebook live and you're gonna find out why and why I think everybody should be on Facebook live and for those of you who, guys who don't know me let me tell you a little bit about myself I'm a social media and online marketing specialist and I help entrepreneurs get more clients and make more sales using the latest social media branding online marketing and PR strategies and techniques um, I'd love to find out what's working now, the latest technology, what's happening in social media, and how we can apply that for our businesses and make more money and get more clients and sales. So I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. I have four kids. Um, I have two boys and two girls. These are some random pictures of them. My son, Alexander, who's um, 22. And my son, Nicholas, is 24. Um, my daughter, Sabrina, is 19. And my eldest daughter, you can see all the way on the side, which, which she was pregnant when we took this picture. She has three kids, um, and she's 30 years old. Uh, and she lives in New Jersey, as well as my son, Alex. So these are my grandkids. This is JJ and Hudson. And JJ is um, seven, and Hudson is two. And Marley Rose is now, this is, she was a little younger in this picture, but she is uh, four months old now. And they live in New Jersey, so I try to get back every three months um, to see them. I'm in Florida, um, so it's, it's hard. I lived in New Jersey for many years, and I moved, uh, it'll be 10 years, my 10-year anniversary moving. And my older daughter at the time, she was almost 20 years old, and she didn't want to leave New Jersey. So that's how she wound up there, and I'm here. And these are the fur babies. I can't forget them. <laughs> There's a lot of them, right? <laughs> um, this is my beautiful cat, Winston. There's Wally. Um, Luigi, this is my love of my life, Luigi, my baby. Um, if you're wondering why I look like a dog there, I'm, that's a Snapchat photo. And Gizmo. And Baxter is actually my son Nicholas's dog, the one in the Batman shirt over there. Um, but these are, yeah, I love my fur babies. They're very sweet. So enough about me. I don't want to bore you. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. And I know a lot of people watching, I probably got know you and you've probably heard, seen um, your friends with me on social media and you probably see all those pictures of my grandkids and my fur babies all the time. But <laughs> so let's get started. Let's dive right in and um, give you what you came here for, how to get internet famous. And let's start from the very, very beginning. Do you guys, anybody here, I don't know how old everybody is who's watching this right now, but do you remember when there was only three channels on TV? Now, I know I'm probably giving away my age. I'm 48. <laughs> but I would say 1970s, um, there was ABC, CBS, and NBC. I don't know if there was any more, but that's all I remember. There was just, it was like back up when I lived in New York. It was Channel 7, Channel 5, Channel, well, it was, I don't know if there was a Channel 5 at the time, but there was Channel 4 and Channel 2. And maybe there was PBS. So that one's not on here. But we've come a long way since then. Um, right after we had those channels, cable television came. And then we had a million channels. We went from very limited to a ton of different networks that um, we still watch today. Um, and that changed a lot of things as well. But we had a lot more options for watching TV. If you wanted to be famous back, you know, in the 70s or 80s, you know, you had to get on a TV show that was on one of the major networks if you wanted to be on TV or in the movies. Um, once cable came, people who wanted to be famous, you know, were able to get on a lot of different shows. I mean, now we have Bravo, we have uh, Discovery, Disney, E! Channel, Oprah has her own channel, you name it. Next up was reality TV. And we've had that, I guess, from the early 2000s, you know, starting with maybe American Idol, uh, The Real Housewives. Um, there's so many of them here. I, di I didn't put the Kardashians up because I know not everyone's a fan, <laughs> though I like them. <laughs> um, there's, you know, people have become very, very famous through um, reality TV. Even our president was on Celebrity Apprentice. So um, reality TV has launched a lot of careers. Um, but still, you'd have to get a reality show if you wanted to be famous. You know, you'd have to get cast on one. You know, not not, not that easy to do. Um, so now, after that, we had an explosion with YouTube. There are YouTube stars out there. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. They're kind of on the younger side. Uh, my grandson's seven years old, and he wants to grow up to be a YouTube star. 
That's what he says. And I was like, what the heck is a YouTube star? Well, here's one here. This woman, Bethany, I say woman, girl, Bethany Mota. She is 19 years old. She is 8.3 million subscribers. Okay. 660 million views. I mean, that's freaking incredible. And she focuses on um, DIY product, um, projects, makeup, and fashion on her YouTube channel. Um, she was even on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. And she makes up to almost 900000 a year. Not bad for 19 years old, right? <laughs> so this is really going to blow your mind. These are from 2016, from last year. Um, these are the highest paid YouTube stars. And there's a guy named P. Dai Pai. Um, I think I, he's been in the news now recently. He's, um, I don't know, he's got in trouble. He was uh, doing something something bad with, uh, I've seen his name in the news, but I never knew who he was before. Um, he made $15 million. Crazy. Um, I have no idea, honestly, who any of these other people, I've never heard of them in my life. But they're making a lot of money and they have a lot of views on YouTube. Um, I know a lot of them are young. There's a lot of um, YouTube stars who do makeup, um, fashion. Um, there's, you know, all different types of things that they do. And I know they go on tour as well. There's actual tours put together. Uh, my daughter's 19 and she was like, oh, I want to go see this YouTube star who does makeup. I'm like, what is she going to do? Get on stage and just put makeup on somebody? And, and that's what she does. And supposedly this girl wound up getting... Um, her own makeup line, um, Sephora, and, and major companies endorsements. So it's big business. So this is a very, you know, it seems to me the YouTube, I know there's some, there's a woman on there who is, um, teaches makeup and hair for over 50. She's 60 years old and she's very, very popular. Um, but I think a lot of this YouTube stuff was a lot of the, the younger crowd um, really uh, taking advantage of this and making a lot of money and getting famous on the internet. And real people are becoming stars. And that's just really the reality of it all. Um, you know, we're seeing more and more people, um, you know, breaking out. It's not how it was back in the 70s. You don't need an agent. You don't need, uh, you can be famous for anything, for doing anything, for your business. You can be perceived as an expert and authority. So it's really exciting times. Um, and, you know, it all started with the live aspect of it, which we're going over today with going live um, a couple of years ago, other than YouTube. You know, we have Google Hangouts, which when that Google Hangouts first came out, I was super, super excited. Um, I immediately got on the platform. This was about was 2013, I would say, and was, you know, loving it. Um, the problem was nobody was on Google Plus. So you had to drive all the traffic from the other sites and tell people to go over to Google Plus or embed the live broadcast on somewhere or website or Facebook where people could see it. So it was a bit of a pain in the neck. And then getting when you were doing interviews and getting hosts and stuff, um, guests that you, you were doing an interview with, they would have a lot of trouble logging in. It was a bit complicated to manage and maneuver. Um, so, I mean, it's still around, but um, it, it's lost a lot of its luster because of that. Um, next up, you're probably familiar with Vine, talking about internet stars. Um, Vine, um, I tried it it's not available anymore it's done but at the, there were a lot of famous uh, viners and it's like there was like seven or eight seconds of a video which to me is kind of pointless but people took advantage of it and made a lot of money and sponsorships and stuff with vine videos and that's um out out of business now twitter uh, used to own it i don't think there's any more vine left Next up, which is about two years ago, we started up with Periscope, which you're probably familiar with. And of course, I jumped on that, very excited to go on Periscope. And I remember thinking, I was on Periscope, I'm like, wow, this is great, but the problem is I have to build an entire new following here on Periscope. All pe you know, my tribe and peeps are over on Facebook. And now I gotta tell them to come over to this app on Periscope and watch it there. So, you know, that kind of made it a little tough to, you know, to manage. And then, of course, there was Blab. Blab, I was extremely excited about because this gave us the ability to actually um, bring multiple co-hosts on the screen at once, if, if you're familiar with Blab. Um, you could do a show. You Again, you were on the Blab platform, which was, an, was tough. And then you'd also have to have people logging with Twitter. But Blab did have a lot of people watching to their benefit. And these were just two of the shows that I did on Blab. Um, this is Diction 911, and this is my co-host, Debbie Sherrick, and then the Virtual Business Mastery Mastermind um, with Heidi Richards, and we would do shows weekly on Blab, um, and we would be able, able to have everyone on the screen at the same time, get up to four people, 
and we get the recording and it was great, but Blab changed its format. I don't even know if it's still around. I know it's not what it was and I, I'm almost sure it's, it's not available or it's limited. They changed, it's not on the same uh, use as it was for people like me who want to do a show. So welcome to the future now. We have um, Facebook Live, and that's what, we're, what I'm talking to you on right now. And this is so exciting. And this is the ultimate live broadcasting platform. Um, you know, I know Instagram, Twitter, there's other places you can go live. Um, there's Snapchat, but it's, it's a short amount of time. I mean, they give you seconds. Facebook Live, you could broadcast for up to four hours, believe it or not, which is super cool. Um, and this is, you know, the the vehicle which everyone needs to get on now. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the reasons why you should go live on Facebook. Do you remember the Chewbacca mom? Okay, <laughs> Candace Payne. Okay, she had the most watched Facebook Live video, 160 million times, which is incredible. Um, and she, I know, after she just randomly went to a store if you're not familiar with her story and just started laughing putting on her new chewbacca mask just an average housewife um from i guess she's from the midwest somewhere and people um embraced her loved her she's got a very great personality she was just being herself and she wound up getting invited i believe she was on the ellen show she was on all sorts of um i think she's got gotten sponsorships i mean she's just launched the whole thing where her videos get watched and all from her just playing around on facebook live you know, with a mask. So it's a pretty incredible amount of people to be watching, 160 million when you think about that. And here's something interesting too. I don't know if you know this, and it's a little hard to see on this infographic, um, but Facebook is actually paying influencers to go live. And I don't know who these people are. I don't know who Ray William Johnson is, but Facebook Live, he's getting $224,000. Um, there's a woman down here, Elsie Strachan. She's getting paid $196,000 um, from Facebook. Now, if you notice, which is interesting, if you, it's hard to see, but you can see the amount of page likes and followers they have. He, this guy, Ray, he's got 5 million page likes and 600,000 followers on, on um, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. So that's when you get into the, when you have that, when you've built your tribe to that amount, um, the followers, that's when you start seeing people wanting to, to actually sponsor you and give you money and uh, endorsements. Um, when you get into, you know, you build your social media platforms to, to a high level, at least 10,000 people, you know, on Instagram, I believe. Um, here's some more interesting stuff about Facebook Live. More in more than 60 countries, we can face, do Facebook Live. Um, this is a favorite of um, Mark Zuckerberg, who said it's one of the things he's most excited about. Um, celebrities are signing on as we speak with contracts and companies. We've got the New York Times, BuzzFeed, um, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, Facebook's paying them a total of $50 million, which is unbelievable. And, um, you know, it's it's really the preferred platform. Um, the, pres the past presidential debates that were on, um, most people preferred to watch it on Facebook Live. I remember watching Bernie Sanders on Facebook Live. Um, we had a hurricane scare back in October, and I actually was watching our local weatherman from his house. He was doing Facebook Live, giving us updates all night long, which was amazing. It was more interactive. It was more interesting. It was better than turning on the TV. So this is what people are doing. So you can see now that Facebook, we were talking about the networks and cable television, and reality TV, and even YouTube. But now we see Facebook is becoming a, a huge, giant, worldwide network of itself, which is super, super exciting that we all need to be taking advantage of. And here are just some more quick stats here. Um, Facebook has uh, 8 billion daily video views because once you do a live video, it stays on your page and you can actually promote it with ads or in more and more people will come and watch it. So it's got more benefits. It lives beyond the live aspect of just people watching live. Um, some more interesting stuff here. The people spend three times, uh, three times more time watching Facebook live videos. Um, and this is interesting. Video has 135% greater organic reach compared to a photo. I found that to be really, really interesting. And this is, here's a Mark again, he's just saying, I want to start out talking about our work around putting video first across our apps. It's really important. He said this in November. 
Um, soon, we believe a camera will be the main way that we share. So, you know, this is the guy here who started it all. And he's telling us right here, he's telling us that Facebook um, is going to be promoting live video um, and, and Instagram too, because they own Instagram as well. So live video is going to be, you know, prioritized by him. So we know something that you want to be an early adopter of. So if you want to see, if you want to watch some live videos, you may not be aware of the live video map. And hopefully my little thing here, I don't know if my picture's in the way, if you can see it or not, but the URL's up on the screen. I can't see it because it looks like I'm blocking it at this point. Um, and you go to the live map. You can just Google Facebook live map and it's going to come up. And I just did this randomly. Um, and I want to show you some of the interesting shows that you'll see. You'll see this map of the whole world. And I zeroed in on the United States. And you just hover over one of these little blue dots. And as you can see all the way to the left, um, the Tipsy Bartender. This is a very popular show. Every time I open up the live map, at night, it seems like the tipsy bartender is broadcasting. <laughs> and they, um, at this point, they had 6.1, um, so over 6,000 people watching live at that moment. Um, they get a huge amount of views. I just pulled up this woman. I don't know who she is. She was, uh, I don't know where she was from. I pulled her up and this was just somebody randomly going live. She had 40 people watching. Um, when you look over here, we've got major TV channels also broadcasting, Fox, um, uh, KTU, um, KTVU, Fox 2, um, and all sorts of different uh, networks are actually leaving their networks and coming to Facebook Live, which says a lot. So here's the tipsy bartender. Um, there they were up to 7,000. Look at the view number though over here, 172,109 views. That's a lot of people watching them. And I took this screenshot, the girl in the back was dancing while the, while the man was making the drink. They were a lot of fun. So they watch, they dance in the kitchen, they're having a great time, and people love it. People are really, really attracted to watching the show, obviously. It's, it's a hit show, right, <laughs> on Facebook, in someone's kitchen, right? Um, here's their fan page. You could see this one had half a million views, which is pretty incredible. And here's another one I found. This was a woman crafting. Now you can see she's gotten, on uh, this particular one, she had, at this moment had 713 people, but... She's had over 70,000 views. And in this video, um, I took a screenshot of it. She was making a bath bomb, a lavender bath bomb. And she was showing exactly how she makes this. And um, the women were all, look at this, change the water. I love that one. Make a huge bath bomb. Oh, my God. Unicorn bomb. People are, are loving this. So this is a woman in her house making a bath bomb. <laughs> uh, this one's a crazy one. This guy is the, um, the shirtless painter. And he just goes on Facebook Live and he paints with no shirt. And I guess he puts polka dots on him. I don't, I have no idea, but, but people are loving it. Um, see everybody, you can see on the bottom, all these live feeds going on at, at the same time while, while this was on. Here's some other ones I just wanted to show you. So you get some ideas and the juices start flowing about what kind of show you could produce for yourself. Um, here's a woman, Holly Homer, who is a family lifestyle blogger. And uh, she's the quirky mama, and she has 2.4 million followers. And she discusses parenting topics, um, crafting tips, um, and do it yourself. And she takes answers and questions from viewers. Um, we have a couple more here. This is somebody who's doing a cakes, baking cakes. And another person here, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, who's, um, I guess they're making coffee, taste made. Um, so there's uh, people just doing all sorts of creative things, you know, with food, with uh, crafts, um, making drinks, people are singing, people are dancing, people are just talking. <laughs> They're doing it all. Here's some more people. This one with a with funny thing on our head. These are two moms. Uh, AKA mom and their laughter is contagious. They make a hat out of a laundry hamper and they, I guess they just, oh, craft with crap and wheel of topics. So they have two shows that are very popular. Um, there's a beauty guru here. It's hard to see her face. It's cut off over here. This one over here um, is actually doing needlepoint. So people are going to watch. So imagine just watching somebody do needlepoint or whatever that is she's doing over there. Um, this guy draws. This person is making tattoos, and the girls at the bottom, they are um, beauty experts with skincare. It's hard to see. I know the screen might be a little uh, cut off at the bottom. So we see, again, mainstream media, Disney, Facebook Live, Ask Me Anything, Let's Talk Disney. 
Um, so, and you've got this baking blogger here who's very popular from the Cake Place, and she walks fans through creative baking recipes and tutorials, and she teases upcoming Bake Along broadcasts to make pastries and cakes with her in real time. Now, that's pretty cool. You're in your kitchen baking, and people are in their kitchens baking, and you're teaching them how to do it. Um, this is why this is so popular. And here we see here, this is E. Now we all know the E! Online channel and they actually launch, they have their own network. So why, when you think about it, why would if someone, they have their own E! Channel on cable, but they're coming over to launch a live talk show on Facebook. So you see the trend, you see all the major players, all the networks coming over, um, everyone using Facebook Live. So it just, you should be convinced right now that you need to be on Facebook Live. And I hope you're getting excited and I hope you're starting to think of some ideas for your show. So what does this all mean? It means you too can be famous using Facebook Live video. Now you may be saying, I don't wanna be famous. You're not sure if you wanna be famous. Then how about getting more clients, more customers and more money? I know we can all use that. So if you're thinking to me, you know what, Christina, this all sounds great, but you know, I have no desire to you know, have a million people watching me and to be famous. Um, but I would like to connect with a couple hundred, a couple thousand, you know, new client, potential new clients and prospects very easily um, through Facebook Live. And that's fantastic. You can establish yourself as an expert and authority in your niche very easily using this platform. It's the fastest and easiest way to get in front of your target market, engage and interact, and easily sell your products and services. Because after all, people do business with what? People they know, like, and trust. So when you see someone talking with you and you're able to interact with them and you're able to talk with them, um, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to actually uh, want to buy from them because they're a real person. They're not a commercial. They're not an actor or a model trying to sell you something. So. This is it, this is one of the amazing things. So don't feel intimidated if you if everything I've shown you so far and you're just like, oh gosh, you know, I, I don't want to be you, that. You can use Facebook Live, and if you want to go go for it and get endorsements and become a Facebook Live superstar, then go for it. But it's for everybody, and you can use it in small groups. You can do it in private Facebook groups even. So it's really beneficial. So let's talk about now seven ways to get started with live video. And the first thing I want to talk about is, um, it says keep calm and get creative. It's really getting creative. Um, you see the kind of examples I gave you, and then there's so, I could have given you a million different examples for different shows. But think about now, um, what kind of, how could you get creative? What is your business? What are you, what type of business are you in? And how could you present that creatively um, that would, make people interested and want to um, learn something from you or you do a demonstration or you're teaching them something. There's just so, so many different ways. Um, here's some ideas that you guys can do. Um, motivational, inspirational. People love that. You know, if you're um, the next Tony Robbins <laughs> or um, Gabby Bernstein, you should have your own show. You know, just you could do it yourself. You can get on camera just like I'm talking to the webcam right now and you could give your best advice and help people. Um, again, business advice is great. You know, how to's. Uh, we're learning how to become an Internet um, use famous using Facebook Live. Um, you can teach anything and everything. You know, you could also go head over if you want to get some ideas too. head over to a site like Udemy.com, U-D-E-M-Y.com. And they have a million different um, online courses. And you can see what's popular and see, you know, if there's something that in your niche that might be something that you may uh, want to adapt to make a Facebook Live show out of. So you could do live coaching with Q&A. Um, you could have people, you know, actually put in your um, their questions and you can answer them. Um, there's even some new software out right now that is um, a software called Be Live, BeLive.tv, that actually has a thing where you could type in a Q&A question, um, which is a platform you could use to go live. Um, panel discussions, which is something I'm gearing up to be doing, uh, especially for my Addiction 911 uh, business page. Um, I would like to get a panel of experts on there and then have real people ask the experts, you know, the, the addiction professionals, um, the important life-saving information they need to know. And I think that would be a great show. So I will be um, bringing back the Addiction 911 show on Facebook Live and also my podcast, which is Stand Out Online with Christina Rowe. What I'm going to be doing is making it a regular show on Facebook 
And then I'm going to take the audio after the show and put use it for my podcast. So see, one of the reasons I'm using this headset here, if I want to do that, because you want to have good audio. And I know it doesn't look too attractive. And on shows with guests, um, I wouldn't be using this. I'd be using a different kind of mic. But since this is a webinar and I'm teaching you, I want it to have the sound to be good. And, and this does work well. So you can do interviews. Interviews are great. Like I showed you earlier with the Blab shows that we did, we'd have up to four people on the screen. The software I'm using right now um, allows 25 to 50 people to screen at the same time. Now, traditionally, let me take a step back in case you're very new to Facebook Live and you're thinking, well, how is she doing this? How is she presenting this on Facebook Live? All I know is what, to go on Facebook Live is a click on my phone and I'm not getting these options. That's because Facebook Live at the moment is rolling out. Um, it's not available to most people right now through the computer. You have to use um, an external software for that. And I'm using something called Blue Jeans to, to present this to you today. There's a few out there, um, but right, Facebook will eventually be adding this, um, rolling it out to everyone where we can broadcast live from our computer and also have guests and co-hosts on the screen without having to use a third party. Um, this one also gives me the ability to share the screen, which is pretty cool. Um, so, and it's pretty easy to use, which is really important. So right now you may be just limited to your phone, which is fine because you can broadcast right, live from your phone. Um, but if you do want to look into something um, to screen share, you can get you know, uh, use blue jeans, which works great. So if you're in real estate, let's say you can do live tours, you know, go show people the houses live. I mean, instead of just a virtual tour where it could be, you know, when you, when you click on those on realtor.com and it's just the house and you have to twirl it around. But what about having an actual realtor walking you through on live video? Say, here, I'm at this beautiful new house and here's the bedroom and look at this and and actually walking through the house on Facebook Live. I think that would be sell houses better, make you want to go see the house. I think that could be a great tool. Any of you real real estate people, you should start doing that. <laughs> um, if you do, if you're an investment person and you like flip houses, you know, show yourself at the homes doing something, you know, to the house. And maybe you're rehabbing it, you're putting in new kitchen cabinets, you know, just show yourself live in action. Um, which is really helpful. Again, if you're in health and fitness, you guys better be on Facebook Live. You've got such a platform here. You can actually just go to the gym and show people how to work out on Facebook Live. I mean, it's very powerful. You can go shopping, go to Whole Foods and tell people how to eat vegan or, you know, actually show them the actual products they should buy. Cook for them. You know, show them, show them the healthy ways that they should be eating um, using Facebook Live. A cooking show is a great idea, especially if you do something cooking gluten free or cooking vegan or something unusual um, that's, you know, specific to a niche of people who are going to want to build a following and watch you all the time. Another idea I think is really great for Facebook Live, and I haven't seen it actually done yet, but I know it um, could easily be done, is to actually do like an HSN QVC type show to sell products. So if you have products that you're selling, Imagine you set up with your webcam and you can like, you know, have a little set. You can set it back your webcam on a tripod where you have a table with your different items that you're selling and you can actually do the same thing. Say, listen, this is going to be available at this price, just like they do, you know, for the next 20 minutes counting down, I've got 10 left, eight left, seven left, you know, and just do watch a couple episodes of QVC or HSN and, and do your own right here on Facebook live to sell your products and services. I think that would be an amazing Facebook live show. It'd be fun too. And news, you can just report the news in your industry, you know, like whatever industry you're in, you could do breaking news and come in and update people on what, what's happening in uh, your specific industry. So there's so many creative, or this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are just so, so, so many ways that you can do this, you know, um, to be to go live and be interesting and get new followers and build your your tribe um, and you just have to be creative and, and think about it so another way just to give you one more a little more food for thought here if you're still stumped and you're like well I really don't know what I should do go watch some of the reality shows some of the, uh, the most popular ones the flip and rehab homes ones like Jeff Lewis um, flipping out um, you own a hair salon 
what would be a great opportunity to bring the cameras, you know, just Facebook live during the day, showing how to do a French braid, showing highlights, showing, you know, the uh, latest straightening techniques, um, whatever you may be doing. Um, I, people like that. People want to see that, you know, how to, and, and that it will drum up business for your, for your salon. If you have a restaurant, take them in the kitchen to meet the chef, have the chef actually cook something and then tell them if they come in, um, that you're going to give them, uh, you know, if, if first time in, they're going to get a free appetizer or they'll get $5 off or give them some sort of incentive. Um, cause that's one of the things too, that I'm going to mention as, as we talk. And it's, uh, if you know me, I've, I, I say this all the time, the goal, obviously you're going to be on Facebook live, which is great. So say you have, you know, 10,000 people watching you, your ultimate goal is to take those 10,000 people and get as many of them as possible off of Facebook to your website, to a landing page, so you can capture their email and um, information. This way you're building your own list. That's a, always the ultimate goal is to convert social media followers and connections and um, friends you know, into uh, clients and customers, and that's the way to do it. So you wanna use Facebook Live as your own network, as your own platform, um, and give them great content, but consider it like a, your commercial will be getting them over and giving them something of value for free on your website, a great freebie, you know, and, and be creative with that as well. Like I said, if you own a salon, you can say, you know what, um, anybody watching Facebook Live tonight, mention the code uh, hairdo, and I'm gonna give you $10 off um, a full head of highlights. And then anybody comes in and gives you that code, then you honor it. So there's really a lot of things you can do with that. Again, we mentioned health and fitness industry. Huge, huge for Facebook Live because so many people are trying to lose weight, trying to eat healthy, trying to get fit, and they're looking for guidance. And you have the expertise. You are there to help them. You know, you can get right, connect with them one-to-one -one and help them to lose the weight. You can have a weekly show, you know, about it, about, you know, outlining what exercises to do, what, uh, what they should be eating, et cetera. Um, small biz owner, again, no matter what business, even if you're, you might say to me, well, my business is boring. I do accounting. You know what? You can still do Facebook live about accounting. You know, the people have to do their taxes, right? <laughs> no offense to accountants. <laughs> you may don't find it boring, but if you think other people may think it's boring, there's something, you know, insurance, you know what? You can still find ways. People need to know things about insurance, about taxes, about um, these various things, and they, they, things that they just don't know about. You know, um, a lot of people don't know what they need to do to file their business taxes or deadlines, or, and you could be giving all this great, helpful information um, through Facebook Live video, uh, which it, again, is going to get you new clients and customers because people are going to appreciate the help that you're giving them, and they're going to want to follow up with you, and, uh, and now they know you. So number two, the number two um, tip to a successful uh, Facebook Live um, show is be yourself. And this quote says, be yourself, everyone is already taken. And it's really, really true. Um, you want to be yourself. I know a lot of people are really nervous about going live on Facebook. They feel like, gosh, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to be judged. You know, I'm, I'm shy. I can't go on camera. My God, all those people watching. But you know what? relax and be yourself. Like right now I'm staring into a webcam. I don't know how many people are watching this. Uh, there might be, a, I don't know, a hundred people. There might be one person. There might be nobody. I don't know. But that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how I can share important information with you. So even if there's 10,000 people watching this video, um, I'm not, it's not like I'm sitting in front of an auditorium looking at them. So you have to ease your mind a little bit. <laughs> so just act like, you know, be, be normal. Act like you're talking to a friend, you're FaceTiming with a relative or a friend or Skyping. It's the same thing. Uh, and, and, you know, you'll, you'll get used to it and, and it's pretty easy to do, but just but be yourself. Don't try to be anyone else. Don't try to act like anyone else you see or any guru or anybody that you see that you admire. Just let your own personality shine through and that will be more than enough, believe me. And then you wanna choose your niche. So what I mean by this is you wanna hone in. I know I, as somebody who's um, you know a marketing expert, I speak with people every day and I always ask them, well, who is your target? audience who's your target market and a lot of times I'll get everyone or all women or all I'm like no 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 
back up, back up. <laughs> Let's be specific. So we have to drill down and figure out who exactly is in our target audience. That's who do we want to speak to? Who do we want to develop our Facebook Live broadcasts for? Um, who is our, our, our ideal client that we want to help? So, you know, like we were talking earlier about, um, say you're somebody who into health, you're a health coach and you work with vegans, you know, so now, you know, specifically vegans ages and 23 to 55, I'm just making this up randomly, um, male, female who, and you write down as many things as you can think about, about your target or audience, about who the person you want to help. Um, and that is how you should, you know, title your shows, um, by choosing your niche. Obviously you see those women who are doing crafting, who are moms, they're appealing to other moms who like to do crafts, who, you know, that's their target audience. So they know specifically who's watching them. Um, so think a lot about what business you're in, hone it down to the type of people you want to help on Facebook Live and get specific. And um, that'll be really helpful in choosing your niche. And so really important, and we saw the example in the beginning of those mega followers, and don't be intimidated by that, you know, but building your tribe really, really important. You need to, um, especially with Facebook, you know, you have a fan page, a business page, um, invite your friends to like it, uh, maybe run some ads to your target audience, you know, getting people interacting with your fan page, um, your personal connections as well. Start, if you're using Facebook for business, you know, start reaching out. One of the tips I tell people to do is when you go out networking, always um, connect with that person on Facebook um, while you meet them, you know, get out your phones, instantly connect because now you're building a relationship and you'll come up in each other's feeds. And um, that's how you start building success by, by having more and more contacts. So if you're going to be primarily focusing on Facebook, you know, you, you're going to want to definitely uh, make sure you have a business page that you're well-branded, that you have your, um, you've got a lot of connections and also a group. A group is one of the best ways um, to start a group that will help you um, build your tribe. Um, so, for example, what we're on right now, Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs. So we have, I think, close to 2,400 entrepreneurs in our group now. And that's only, in a, this has only been around a couple months, uh, the actual group. The, the page that you're watching it on now has been around for a little longer, but that has only, you know, it's fairly new. And we're all, you know, like-minded women who are, you know, say, uh, lady bosses, right, who are, <laughs> who are you know, um, entrepreneurs you know, hustling and uh, we're out here, you know, uh, doing what we can to, uh, to, you know, to work and build our businesses. So think about what business you're in and what, what, what kind of group would your tribe like and start uh, growing your group. A great new feature Facebook uh, just came out with recently is the ability to promote your group. And there's a button you'll see when your group reaches um, a certain amount of people, they'll start allowing you to use Facebook ads to promote. And I think they're going to be rolling that out probably to all Facebook groups very soon. So building your tribe, not only on Facebook, you know, build it um, I, where else if you're your peeps are over on Pinterest. You should be over there getting followers if they're on Instagram and you can always promote your Facebook live shows to them as well. Practice makes perfect. Number five, um, you're going to want to practice going live, especially if you're feeling nervous, like we were talking about before. If you're feeling, you know, intimidated or nervous and you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't, the more you practice, the better you'll get at this, the more relaxed you'll feel. So what we do is in our um, Facebook Live Superstar online program, um, members um, are, are part of the Facebook Live Superstars private secret Facebook group. So I encourage everybody who is a member to anytime they want, just pop in or share a live broadcast. And then other members where they feel safe, it's a small group, can help and critique and give advice. It's like a safe haven to go live in. Um, another thing you can do, though, is you could create a fan page and call it. I have one test only and it's not public. It's a private fan page. Only I can see it. No one else can see it. So before I broadcast, I can do a test on that page and feel good that nobody's watching it. So if I screw up, it's fine. Or if there's any technical difficulties, I can iron it out before the actual broadcast. So having a test page, um, and you could just create a page, just call it test only, um, and just don't publish it. Just keep it, um, you know, unpublished. And then you can use that when you go live. You can just click on when the drop down says, where do you want to broadcast? click on um, 
that test page and you could practice there. The other piece of advice would be to go live often. Again, this is, you know, practice makes perfect. And the more times you go live, the more comfortable you'll be, but the more followers you'll build. Um, you know, the more people who are going to be interested in your show, the more time they're seeing you live. So really try to commit to yourself to say, you know, I'm going to go live, you know, twice a week or at least once a week. I'm going to do a live broadcast. Um, and even if it's for five minutes, 10 minutes, you're just going to pop in there and do that. You know, say you're out, you know, get your phone, just go on, go on. Don't worry. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. Your hair and makeup don't have to be perfect. I mean, look, I have this silly my hair's all messed up with this headphone thing in here. <laughs> um, just do it, you know, just, just do it. And don't worry what other people are thinking. You know, it's, uh, that's our biggest hang up. I know many of us, you know, we, we feel we have to be perfect and that everything has to be, you know, we have to look great, sound great. And everything's got to be, you know, all the way it should be. And it doesn't people actually Facebook live is a platform where people actually expect there to be mishaps and stuff. And, and they don't mind it. It's, it's, that's why it's live live t like like live tv live you know anything can happen um and you just have to go with the flow so number oh well it says number five but it's supposed to be number six <laughs> is schedule your shows you know it would be great to have a regular schedule for your shows so say you're going to do thursday nights at 7 p.m um i'll use my show for example stand out online with christina rowe say that i'm going to do that every thursday night at 7 p.m I would make a graphic like I you saw before of my shows. I make those in canva.com, by the way, if you want to do your own graphic, C-A-N-V-A.com. It's a really easy uh, graphic editor, like a Photoshop, but very easy to use if you're not familiar with it. Um, so you can make your own graphic and then promote the show ahead of time. Uh, what I like to do, and many of you have signed up for this webinar, was there was a link where I set up a landing page for you guys to sign up and register for this webinar. This way I can send you um, the link to come back here for the replay after and I can keep in touch with you and tell you when the next webinar or show is. So that's another great way um, to, uh, to promote your shows ahead of time, you know, so you could start promoting on Monday for your Thursday show all week long and sending people somewhere where they can put in their email address and, and um, first name and be alerted so they don't forget that you're going live at a certain time every week. And then they'll start to know, okay, well, Christina goes live seven o'clock Thursday nights, you know, if people start to realize that that's the schedule and they'll start knowing that that's what's, what's happening. So scheduling your, your shows is pretty important. Um, get a professional equipment. Now I know this may sound a little intimidating and it doesn't have to be, you may be thinking, gosh, professional equipment, that's so much, you know, forget it. It's going to be a fortune. It's going to be, it's, it's really not. Um, I do have in the, in the Facebook superstar online program, I go, in detail exactly what you need um, and where you can get it inexpensively um, down to the webcam like you see that that background that's a green screen which I, I would just get a white one because that's people are going to be doing some fancy editing with that um, the lighting and stuff as well but you can set up a little home studio and I go over all of that in detail we're just not gonna have enough time to to go over that um, tonight, because uh, we're already at 7:45. Um, but having good equipment is important because you're going to want to have, you know, professional, a professional um, sound and lighting, and having here, like I'm gonna say, most important, um, good lighting, for example. And I'll go over that really quick since we do have a couple more minutes here. Um, good lighting uh, is you want to make sure you're well lit. And something I teach is always light from the front, not from in back of you. And if you just remember that rule, don't have a window in back of you, have the window in front of you. Don't put the light in back of you, put the light in front of you. Um, that's gonna really make you look a lot better on camera and um, cut down on a lot of the times when you see shadows and glare and everything. Um, you know, right now it's nighttime. My window here is fine, but a lot of times this window here to the side of me gives me a lot of trouble because it's very sunny on the side. And, you know, I've, I've actually put, uh, you know, like things up to, I've got a heavy duty curtain here to block the sun, which will still sometimes peep through. Um, but I do have a light right now, professional light that's in front of me for this um, webcast. So lighting you can get, um, like I said, I have some resources for it, but even on amazon.com, you can go and get some good lighting. You don't have to spend a fortune. There's people who have actually gone to Home Depot and gotten lights and did a, you know, do it yourself light kit. 
And you could Google that as well. So just make sure you have good lighting. Um, your webcam, you're going to be using, if you're broadcasting from your computer, you're going to want to invest in an external webcam. I know uh, a lot of people say, well, I already have a webcam built in. Uh, you will get a much better quality picture with a more professional one. I use a Logitech one that I also share, and it's it's uh, about $63 on Amazon, so it's pretty inexpensive. Or you're going to be using your phone. Um, you know, if you, something I didn't list here, going over some of the equipment. If you're going to be using your phone, you're going to want to be using uh, a tripod to hold that phone or a selfie stick. This way the phone's not like this in front of your face, you know, and uh, you, this way you don't look like with a giant head, right? <laughs> or if you're going to want to, another great thing about a webcam when you're broadcasting from the, the desktop is if you're doing like a sh actual show and you have a set at your home where you have, say you're sitting on a couch with a guest or you're just sitting there at a table, um, you can actually see, you'll have a, you know, see what you're doing without having to have somebody be your, your camera person. Um, and good audio. It's really important. There's a lot of options for audio and it doesn't have to be expensive. You can use the iPhone. Um, actually I actually have my headphones here somewhere. These that come with your phone. You can stick these in your ears and these will give you better quality than not using anything. So make sure you have something in your ears. Um, uh, I'm using right here. This is a professional headset. This works really great because it really it helps with the quality of sound. Um, I have other things like my. Sometimes you'll see me holding the mic like this, um, and this is good to capture sound. You know, when, when if you're gonna hold it steady the whole time, um, and it also plugs into my phone. Believe it or not. So there's a lot of things you can do with that, but I'm not going to go over all of that um, with you today because it's a lot. And I know I don't want you to be completely overwhelmed, <laughs> but what I do want you to understand from what we're talking about is the benefit. I just hope that you get out of this, this webinar tonight, how important it is for you to be using Facebook Live in your social media marketing. And I'm just so excited about it. I don't get excited about new things. Right? You know, it, it takes a lot for me to say, okay, this is something I really want to share because first of all, Facebook Live video is free. I mean, you're, you've got a free tool where you could reach the potential of millions of people. Just think about that, how powerful that is. Um, you know, it's, you don't get those kind of opportunities um, that come around that you can actually uh, take advantage of. And so I want you to be strategic. I want you to think tonight, you know, after the webinar is over, I want you to think about, be write down some ideas of what kind of broadcast, if you want to call it a show, if you want to do a regular show, or what kind of broadcast do you want to do? Um, if you're, you know, a coach and you teach, like me, social media marketing, or you want to do these type of presentations, you can do this, do webinars. Um, this eliminates the need for doing a platform like on GoToMeeting or, or one of the other other sites, which um, I've always hated those sites, to be honest with you. Again, the great thing about Facebook is, well, Facebook Live, is we're keeping everybody on Facebook where they are already at. They're used to it. They're on it all day long. Um, when you do a webinar and you do it on another platform, we have to take you off and bring you to another platform that you have to click on. You have to be maybe in front of your computer. Um, you know, people can be watching this on their phone, which is great. So um, th this is why it's, it's great and that you can use it um, for this. The, the resource I was telling you about that I'm using right now is Blue Jeans, B L. U E J E A N S dot com. <laughs> um, this is a good one. It's about forty five dollars a month for um, this setup. I do teach um, in the online program, the Facebook Live Superstar pro online program, about how to use it exactly in the program. Um, it's a great program. Um, Zoom just came out with the uh, just recently just came out with. Um, the technology to do this as well. Um, it's a little more money though. It's about $54. Uh, so that's why I would say that blue jeans would be a better um, bet to save you a little bit of money for doing the same thing basically. Um, there's a free site that doesn't do any screen sharing, but can let you bring another person on to do an interview with. And that's called BeLive, which I mentioned earlier, BeLive.tv. I did a test of it. And it, I did it once so far and it worked pretty well, uh, but it's limited. You're not going to do screen sharing, uh, but you can broadcast from your computer. So those are three resources there. There is a free, uh, an actual free resource. It doesn't cost that. Well, BeLive is free, but OBS software is free, um, but it's 
pretty techy and complicated to set up. So unless you're really tech savvy, I, it's, I wouldn't suggest it. I would suggest paying and going for a blue jeans or a zoom. If you want to have this kind of, it'll be well worth it. If you do a lot of trainings, a lot of webinars, if you're, you know, coaching people, um, you can also use the private meeting settings, which I use as well, um, that are not broadcast live. So it's, it's, it's really a great tool. Um, so I highly suggest that. So we're getting almost to the end of the hour. I just wanted to share with you a little bit. I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I wanted to share with you the Facebook Live Superstar Online Program. And in this program, I show you how to leverage Facebook Live video so that you can increase your sales, get more clients, make more money, and most important, have more freedom. I mean, this you discover how to establish credibility as the expert and be the go-to person in your niche to become internet famous and 10x your marketing power online using Facebook. And I've noticed that this really, really does work. And it's to like, like we discussed today, doing Facebook Live is just an amazing platform to be on. So in this course, um, I teach you how to do live trainings and webinars with Facebook Live, how to host your very own live TV show on Facebook. We went over some of that today. How to set up an affordable home or office studio. I'll go into detail and show you exactly what equipment you need to get. Um, the secret new tool. Well, I kind of gave away the secret, but I'm going to actually show you how to use those tools. So you're not like, oh my gosh, how do I use it? To screen share and have multiple presenters on Facebook Live. Um, how to get 13% more views by adding captions to your Facebook videos. And there's a really cool tool that I'll, I share with you on, on that. And captions work really well. Um, how to turn your live broadcast into a cash machine by running them 24-7 with inexpensive Facebook ads. And that's pretty exciting when you see see that, that little technique and trick there. Um, so if you're ready to you know, build your online tribe and fan base, engage with the audience, establish credibility, and actually you know, profit from live video, um, then this is a course that you're going to really love. And uh, it's all video. It's all pre-done. You can do it at your own pace. And it's really important, I think, I feel that everyone should become an early adapter of Facebook Live video. Some of the other things that I do go over in this course is overcoming stage fright and the fear of being on video. Um, I even talk about uh, what kind of makeup's best to wear. Um, I have a whole bunch of suggestions for you on that. Um, I'll go over, um, we'll brainstorm topics like we did today. Um, a secret way to set up a stellar Facebook ad for your live video that gets results why you should broadcast from a fan page and how to optimize the settings for your ideal target audience. And I teach a technique here that I'm shocked that most people do not know this about their fan pages. And um, I'll go over this in detail. I discovered it actually by accident while working with a client and I've been doing it ever since. And it's really helpful. Um, how to properly use lighting and look your best on live. What's the best mic to use? How to download and edit your Facebook Live videos so you can use them on YouTube and other social media networks. So you take the same video and you repurpose it throughout social media. You put it on your blog. You can put it on, uh, you can do a LinkedIn Pulse article with it. You can do, um, you can share it through YouTube everywhere, you know, on Twitter and uh, and, and on the, all your social me medium and all the different networks. So it's really um, a great tool that you can reuse again as well. We also have our face, which I mentioned before, our Facebook Live broadcasts on our private Facebook group for members only, where we support each other, give feedback. And I do share all the latest breaking news and tips because things cha are changing very fast. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. So that's where you'll get all the updates, you know, when a new software comes out. Like when I originally did um, just a couple of weeks ago, the live event, uh, I didn't know about Zoom, which I've used Zoom for years, but I didn't know they just just had added the feature of going on Facebook. So I was able to put that into the group and be live. I found out about put that into the group. So I'll be continuing to do that when anything comes out that you guys should know updating you. Um, and it's it's fun to support each other and see what everybody is doing and, and be able to be connected. And if you have any questions and I'm in the group, you just tag me and I'm going to be answering them for you. Um, and um, the secrets behind Facebook's Live's future and why becoming an early adopter is critical to your success. And I think you guys know that by now. It's really, really critical, and, and it's going to be a great tool for you. So the actual event that we did was um, it's $97, the online program as well. Um, but 
we're going to, I'm doing a special, which I did honor at the event was $77. I'm doing that for the next 48 hours. I wanted to make this extremely inexpensive that anyone could afford because I do believe so passionately in the fact that you should be doing Facebook Live and there should be no excuses. So this is going to give you everything you need to know in order to, you know, produce a successful show on Facebook Live and get started. It's not difficult. The videos, I, I kept them maybe 15 minutes each, 20 minutes, no longer. So you'll whiz through this course. You'll be able to have the group and go live and you'll be able to save $20. So, you know, you want to harness the power of Facebook live video. Um, and you should know that I shouldn't, shouldn't even be saying that at this point anymore. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun and it's just, just a great tool. And I really believe that this course is really going to help you do that. So um, I also include a special bonus, um, a free website template. We've been talking about this, you know, landing page and, and been drilling in. Everybody needs to drive the traffic from social media to a lead capture system. And I'm actually going to just give you a website um, that does this. And of course, you're going to have to customize it because it's going to have, you know, my information on it, but it's, you can, you'll go in and edit it and you're going to get a free, it's on um, a site called ClickFunnels and I'm going to give you, it's going to give you a two week free trial to ClickFunnels as well. So you can go in there and customize it and make it your own and then start collecting email addresses. So when you're doing your shows, you can say, listen, sign up this way. You're going to be notified first when I go live and, you know, I'm going to give you an ebook or this or whatever the heck you want to give them. And you'll have this template and that's in the members area at the bottom of one of the bonuses. I did add, which is not on here, um, an additional bonus, how to find your dream clients on Facebook. And this is um, a video about all about using the Facebook um, audience insight tool. And it's an absolute, if you're not familiar with it, it's a free, amazing tool on Facebook where you can really drill down, like I was talking about earlier, about honing in on your ideal clients. You can find them so easily using this tool. Um, so this video, I won't ex talk about it now because the video will explain everything that you need to know with that. So all you have to do is just click on the link that says a blo a below, but actually, well, it could be above in the, in the broadcast. I put it in the notes. It's standoutonlinesystem.com forward slash slash event and it's going to be the next 48 hours we're going to be honoring that um, $20 off only $77 you get the bonuses you'll get the website um, you'll get be part of the group and I think you're really going to enjoy it and it's really going to help you and um, I'm really excited to see your online broadcast now I don't know if anyone has any questions I haven't even looked yet here there's some comments here I'm going to go over here now and look because I couldn't see them before on the screen Okay, so we've got Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Cindy's, um, I don't know if she's still on, shares um, addiction recovery. See, it's, this is, I know Cindy. Cindy's a perfect person for Facebook Live because she's um, doing 12-step programs, relapse prevention. Uh, we had interviewed Cindy on the Addiction 911 show, and she was a great interview. And Cindy, you really have, um, this is an ideal platform for you because um, I could see you doing this and it and being incredible at it and helping a lot of people. Smartress, hello, Smartress. Um, Jackie, she did her test page. Jackie is a member of the Facebook Live Superstars group and she was at the event. Cece, okay, which way should we hold our phones when doing Facebook Live, landscape or portrait? Um, we're going to want to... Definitely hold it this way. This, I guess, would be the landscape way. Now, the tricky thing with this is when you're holding it this way, you have a tendency to look toward the middle. Look at the camera. So you're going to have to look at the camera because it's going to look funny if you're looking straight like you would if it was in the portrait mode. But the reason you want to put it like that um, is because when you get the video, if not, you'll get those black lines on the side. You've probably seen those, the replays, where it's blocked out in a skinny face. That's if you film it like this. Um, so I usually film it, film it like this, though they may, I haven't, you know what, honestly, I haven't used my phone in quite a while. I've been using primarily the computer. So it may be, I would say use landscape, but you could try it both ways. They may have adjusted it by now because it's been, been a while since I've, I've uh, broadcast live from the phone ever since I started using the computer. <laughs> now, let's see here. Okay. Oh, Susan. Hello, Susan. You're welcome. Great, CC. Wonderful. This is great. Okay, so if anybody else has any other questions, um, this uh, just um, I've got the phone now. I can see it. The, when you use Blue Jeans, you're unable to see the comments on the screen because it's being taken up by the PowerPoint presentation, so you're not able to see it. Um, but if you just um, 
put it in the phone here. I've got my phone. Okay, Cindy. Okay, how can I interview people in recovery with strong sobriety and not show their faces? Well, you know, that's interesting. If they don't want to be on camera, um, you could actually still have their voice. You could have, actually, you know how you can do it. You can do it exactly like a radio show, but with you live on camera. So say right now I'm here live on camera and um, people can, you give them a special link. If you're using blue jeans, they'll get a link to be appear either on the show on camera or they can call in by phone. So I would tell them to call in by phone. So everyone would hear their voices. They wouldn't say their name and you would answer their question while you're speaking and you're on camera on Facebook Live. I think that would be terrific. This way it gives them, uh, you know, the ability to be, not be, nobody knows who they are, but it also, you're still on camera talking. So it's almost like you could, you know, you're just taking like a switchboard in. So yeah, that definitely would work technology wise with um, the blue jeans uh, software. Absolutely. Let me see. CC, will Facebook Live work for my business? Now, CC, I know you have, you do photography, but you're also the author of a book which is really interesting as well. So which one, Cece, were you want to do both or were you, what were you thinking of? I'll let you answer in a second. Okay, Cindy says, they risk the sobriety by losing, right, exactly. So I would have them call in, no name, you know, fake name, um, and just be a voice. This way they don't know, nobody knows who they are, but you could still hear them. Okay, sealing, expunging criminal records. You know, I could definitely talk about a niche. That would be a great niche because, you know, it's not only the people who've actually had that happen to them when they've, they've been, um, they've done time or they've, they've had a crime. They've got this, uh, this mark on their record that may stay there depending on if it was a felony or not and may prevent them from getting a job. But a lot of people have loved ones who've been through that and they don't know where to turn to and they don't know how to, how to, how to get that off. I actually know somebody personally who, who was 16 years old and, um, he was um, caught selling, uh, I forgot what it was, but it was like, he was caught with like three pills of, um, it was an ecstasy or something when he was 16 years old. And he actually did six months in prison for that and got a felony charge on his record where he was um, unable to, um, for, it was so hard for him to get a job. And it was like, because in the state he lived in, that was considered, you know, wasn't considered, he was tried as an adult and he was not considered um, uh, able to, you know, have that removed. So he would definitely have, could have used your help. So I think families definitely, um, there's a lot of people. There's a, like you, for you to write a book on it, you know, there's a lot of people who need that help. So I would start a show, CC about that, about, about um, you know, helping people and their family members who have criminal records that need it expunged and you give the how-to advice and get them on, you know, you get on camera and you share exactly, you know, how to do that and how to work with you. You know, you could share t a tip each week and then have them call you to set up an appointment or buy your book. I mean, it's great for your book. Then they'll, they'll definitely, if, having a, if you're an author, you definitely should be on Facebook Live. I mean, it's just amazing. You could take um, bits and pieces of your book and share it, you know, and, and a lot of times people will say to me, oh, well, yeah, but I don't want to give away, you know, what people pay for. I wrote a book about divorce, Seven Secrets to a Successful Divorce, and I, over the years, have taken every chapter of that book out and, and spread it all over the internet. People still bought the book because <laughs> they one chap, you know, one blog post was one chapter, one was taken from this, and you're just repurposing content, you know, and it and giving and giving helpful free advice will always lead to a good place, and people are going to want to purchase the book. Great, Cece. Yeah. So um, I really, I this was really great tonight. I'm so good. But anybody has any other questions before we wind it up? I know we're a little at eight o'clock, eight o two. Actually, we're we're pretty good. We're at eight o two. I want to thank everybody for being here. I'm going to uh, send an email out with the replay of this um, a little later. This way you'll get this if you want to share it with somebody or you want to watch it again or just watch bits and part pieces of it. Again, um, I highly suggest grabbing the course now while it's only $77. Standoutonlinesystem.com forward slash event. We'd love to have you in our group. We have some great people in our group. Um, it's very exciting. We had a, a really great, we, we actually have mostly women, but we have a couple of men too. They haven't actually 
gone live yet, but we do, you girls probably don't even know that they're there, but there was a couple of men who joined as well. <laughs> um, so it's going to be really, really great. Um, I'm excited to work with everybody and thank you guys so much, Jackie. Thanks. Thank you to Cece and Cindy. Thank you guys for, for being on tonight, everybody else who is watching. And I hope you guys have a great night. And again, just click on the link. If you haven't picked up the course, this way you can get the discount and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.